America reacts to Namdi Kano's request assures protection. Well, uh, in this very broadcast, magazine Namdi Kano is seen, you know, writing to the American president, urging and pleading to Joe Biden to protect the Christians in Nigeria, saying that they are highly attacked. So, um, Joe Biden on his own side has thrown his weight on Namdi Kano's request, assuring him of U.S. support, but then he has given Mazin Namdekano his own side of assignment and what could be this assignment. That is what we need to know. All right, um, you and I know what is presently going on in Nigeria at present and um, the reason for this cry by Mazin Namdekano. Namdekano cannot just walk up to the U.S. president. Something has always been taking Namdi Kano to the U.S. government. You understand? And anytime he cries to them, they always hit to his core. And that is why I look and laugh at people who make mockery and say that Americans should grant them, grant Nigerians the opportunity to, to, to by, by um, uh, repatriating Namdi Kano to Nigeria to face his trials, a dream that can never come to pass. That can never come to pass. You understand? Namdi Kano is a true citizen of America. In fact, is more than is 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 more than uh, our president here in Nigeria now. Maybe you don't know. Aside from the radio, um, the radio uh, broadcast that he is occupying, Namdi Kano is giving opportunity to sit along among the, the, the leaders, the leadership of America, making decisions, you understand? So let us not just um, speak because we want to speak. Let's speak because there is facts and figures. Let's speak because there is facts and figures. Let us not, let's stop these um, uh, stories that is not true. Do you understand? Well, um, let's quickly see the, 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 the information that has been tabled on ground and see how factual is the assurance gotten from, um, from Joe Biden. All right. Uh, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has written a letter to the president of the United States of America, Joe Biden, asking him to deny Nigerian sales of arms. Nigerian had earlier asked for assistance from the U.S. president in tackling insecurity in the country. Sunday Sun learned that the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Nandekan, had written to the U.S. president Joe Biden, urging him to consider that Christians are being killed in Nigeria, allegedly with arms sold to Nigerian to fight Boko people. The letter reads, in part, President Buhari has made a Nigerian the most dangerous country in the world for Christians. Jewish and Nigerians, indigenous people, particularly those of the former Republic of Nigeria. Hundreds of thousands are routinely plundered, tortured or killed with impunity by Nigerian security forces, controlled and populated by Boris Fulanic Islamic tribal men, often in collaboration with Fulani Etsmen, an Islamist Boko group that has been internationally branded with fourth deadliest Boko group in the world. The US Commission on International Religious Freedom has recommended listing Nigeria as a country of concern because of its religious operations. United States sales or transfers of weapons to Nigerians to fight Boko people are diverted to killing and terrorizing Christians and Jews. The Nigerian army, which leadership is Fulani and Islamist, is complicit in this illicit transfer. 
President Buhari is promoting radical Islam in secular Nigeria. He has endorsed Sharia law in the 12th Northern Nigerian state. He has treated Boko people with kids' gloves, releasing from detention hundreds arrested by the previous administration. He recruited them into the Nigerian army and offered generous foreign scholarship to hundreds of them. He has appointed radical Muslims to head every security agency in Nigeria, including Sheikh Issa Pantami, whose profuse support for Al-Qaeda and Taliban was widely published recently. Yet, President Bori has refused to sack him from his sensitive position as Minister of Communication overseeing the biometrics data of Nigerian by defending Sheikh Pantami. Bori is seemingly aligning with Pantami's Boko sympathies and I'm kind of stated with grievances. My dear, this lamentation is carried, except if you are a biased person. It's clear. All that Mazen Namdekano have just said is the truth, because it's happened in the eyes of everyone. It's happened in the eyes of everyone. Buari, as we all know, granted, let, we, we can, yes, I'll call it a cilio. It what Buari has done to the Boko people or arrested Boko people by the past administration is an asylum. How can you release the Boko people and still recruit them into the army? It means that you are, you are bringing them in to, 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 to come in and achieve their devilish and evil plan. Even the, some of them that he recruited went on to commit uh, uh, more atrocities. There is one of them that after he recruited to the army, went back to his Boko people and visited his father and mother his father. He killed his father. And some of them went back completely to the Boko people, never returning back to the, to the army. And that, to me, that is indirect way of releasing them back to their, to, their, to, their, to, their, uh, to their base. And that is just it. So all these ones that Bori is doing to me, I tell you, they are all decent. They are all decent. So let us not be carried away by that decent. That is just the reality. It's a, it's a reality. The president is, has just, uh, has just uh, deceived us on, on, on something that, uh, that is not true. You understand? So let's call a spade a spade. The truth is that Bari has not been, Bari is not ready to tell us the truth of the situation. Do you understand? Yeah, that's just it. So, my dear viewers, let me hear from you and know what you have to say. Don't forget to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.